Uh, All right, ladies and gentlemen, on to bout number nine. He does his own Chris little. Collie to the blue corner, Zach Barkley. Yeah, I think Keith does his own program here in Great Falls, and Zach, like I said, is out of Great or uh, Bozeman, Montana, and he's bringing his belts out. So this must be a belt fight. I believe this is a belt fight. Uh, oh, Cal's over here confirming that. This is a belt fight for the 140 uh, pound Fight Force belt. And Zach Markwick is our reigning 140 pounder, Jim. You'll like his style, he's a good fighter. Uh, okay, he's yeah. just got a lot of experience too, and he's a good fighter. And uh, we'll see whose strategy is stronger today. Well, we'll see if Keith can take it away from him. Well, I know Zach has trained really hard with uh, Brian Dietz and his program in Bozeman, but I I know uh, Keith has been training a number of years, too, so experience-wise, they should be about equal, I think. We'll see who wants it more. Sometimes it boils down to just who wants it more. You know? I'm sure they both trained hard, so... And they're both experienced, so you put put all that together, it should make for a good, uh, good fight, huh? I think the crowd's getting their money's worth tonight. There's been some good knockouts and some there great jujitsu, and everybody's really uh, keeping the energy level up. So yeah, we're having a lot of fun tonight. Yes, and Ladies uh, and gentlemen, the next time Fight Force comes to Great Falls, you need to get down here to the Heritage Inn. It's way better live. Then you don't have to listen to us. <laughs> anyway, Zach, once again, he's fought a lot. He's ready to rock and roll. And calling his opponent to the red corner, Keith Kelly. And the crowd behind Keith. He's got a lot of supporters here. He does. Coming on out. So Zach's uh, and but, his opponent fighting out of the red corner, also weighing in at 140 pounds. He's a freestyle fighter who quick falls for the Keith Kelly. So Keith, uh, Keith is a local kid. He's fought in a lot of bouts around the area. Um, he trains in jujitsu. I think he's originally from California, or he went to California and trained something like that. But anyway, he's a uh, he looks like he's in shape. I hope uh, I hope he brings his A game tonight because I know Zach always brings his A game. And uh, should be a good fight. I think the the the, uh, the general matchup looks good for both stylish and uh, aggression and all that good stuff. So we'll see how the styles Both contrast. of these gentlemen are 140 pounds, so yeah. here we go. Keith is in the green and Zach's in the red. Measuring with the jab a little bit, looking for that hard right cross, and Keith's 
Keese looking for the takedown. Nice follow through with his punch. Got to be careful. Get that arm out of there. Working on the triangle choke, leg triangle choke. He's getting a few good shots off though, but he's gotta be careful. This is a uh, tricky situation here for Keith. He's And he reversed it, now we're in trouble. Yep, Zach will definitely utilize this, and uh, Keith is in deep, deep trouble right now, Jim. He's got to get bucking and get out of there, or the ref's going to stop it. Moving, yeah. Got the ref. So he must not be hitting it. him directly in the head. He must no. or in the face. He must be hitting him a little on the top of the head. When we were at a different Dennis, angle, yeah. I think they were sliding yeah. off at the top of his Dennis head. is a really good ref, and he would definitely stop the fight if it looked so too bad. But I tell you, Zach has got a heck of a leg triangle going on right now. And he just oh, choked he just him out. Yep. He's tapping. Very, very efficient fight on Zach Markwick's part. But I have to say, Keith held in there. He fought hard. It was a, it was a good fight until he got caught in the leg triangle. But you can see the position is really tough to get out of, and especially when somebody's punching you in the face. So let's give our shout out to uh, Keith, Keith Kelly for fighting. And uh, once again, our uh, current Fight Force champion, Zach Markwith, is uh, Give a big uh, congratulations again, to him too, yeah. Did you like that one? That was a pretty efficient fight, wasn't it? He didn't waste a lot of time. No, he got right to it and got done what he needed to do. Yep. Keith, on the other hand, looks in good shape, and he was in the fight. It's just sometimes you get caught. And the ref didn't see the tap. The ref did not see the tap. Kevin is a, or, or, uh, Den the Dennis. Has come to a conclusion at one minute and 33 seconds into round number one. Your winner by a mountain triangle to the 49